next question is from Terry Nuyup19. Does walking count as cardio or should I incorporate some steady state cardio like running and or HIIT? What will keep me healthy while maintaining the most lean mass? It's definitely not cardio. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's, it's activity. Uh, it keeps your cardiovascular system healthy. It keeps your body healthy. It's the best form of activity uh, to do on a regular daily basis that would be closely related, more closely related to cardio uh, than other forms. I would say it's the best. Here's a couple reasons why. Number one, now running is not necessarily bad. The problem with running is nobody runs right. Uh, we, we, we don't grow up running. We, we tend to not run. And then all of a sudden as adults decide we're going to run for exercise. So technique is off and we don't know how to run properly and we overdo it and we hurt ourselves and it just becomes very inefficient and, and ineffective. But walking, we still do. We walk all the time. So having someone walk more usually isn't going to produce lots of problems. Great, great form of activity. It's great for health. It's my preferred form of activity for me and for a lot of the clients that I've trained in the past. Now, had you asked me this as an early trainer, I would have laughed and said, walking doesn't count as anything. It's a waste of time. Go do cardio. I know a lot better now. I know now the benefits of walking. And if the average person who just wanted to be lean, fit, strong, look good, if all they ever did was lift weights a couple days a week, did that effectively, and then walked every single day, made it a point to do a couple walks every single day, um, they would have all their ducks lined up. They would be pretty well off forever. Well, the the thing is that what I, you have to take into consideration with cardio also is, is this something that you can maintain for the rest of your life? Because if you use cardio to you know lean, lose body fat, which most people are using it for, right? Lose body fat, get lean, get the uh, get to the body type or the body look that you're trying to uh, accomplish, and you used it to get there. In order to keep that body, you're going to have to maintain that, right? You're going to have to keep that up or significantly adjust your calories, which a lot of people wouldn't know how to exactly do that if they start to eliminate. So if you are going to use cardio as a tool like that, you want to be use it judiciously because you don't know if it's something that you're going to do for the rest of your life. Now, if you're someone who loves to run, I'm talking totally different to that person. If you enjoy running and there's it's meditative for you, it's you you could consistently you see yourself going for a jog, you know, three to four times a week for the rest of your life and you really like it, like I would never discourage somebody from doing that. But it's a lot easier to incorporate walking throughout the day. Uh, for people and clients. And so I've just had way more success mm -hmm. like speaking to step counts and saying, listen, okay, we've tracked to see where you're at right now. You want to lean out a little bit more. Looks like we're averaging 6,000 to 8,000 steps. Okay, going forward now, I want you to get to 10,000 steps. And the way I want you to do that is you can either do it all in one, you know, 45 minute to an hour walk, or you can break it up in small 10, 20 minute walks after every meal throughout the day or when you start your day. And what I find with clients uh, that utilize walking like that to lean themselves out and get in shape, it's more sustainable. It's uh, something that they can continue to do forever, uh, probably because you can multitask while you're walking. I used to get on a treadmill and answer my emails and do things while I'm actually moving and burning calories. It's just more realistic to do it long term unless you're somebody that absolutely loves to do cardio. Yeah, I just think a lot of people feel they have to do it. They have to do jogging. They have to do running. They have to do that to be able to, you know, reduce their body fat. And I've, I've totally it, there. There is a whole another way you can approach this. And just like the step, the step count, I, I definitely lean a little bit more in that direction in terms of neat and, and overall activity for the day. Uh, I, I look at it more from a can I be more productive? Can I be up and active and and cleaning can i can i do things uh can i put things away can i get up and and just make sure that i'm just constantly on the move and you look and you see where that ends up at the end of the day and it's it's pretty crazy and eye-opening uh you know what that produces in comparison to just like this hour of running you've devoted where you've literally just sat there like you know a hamster uh you know staring at the wall which to me is like i i just i think that's like a slow death I don't want to do that. So, you know, it, it's it's all about your preference. Like you can definitely do it if you enjoy it and you like being outside, running, jogging. I get that. But for me, I, I just want to make sure that like I'm contributing, I'm productive, and I can wrap that all into uh, my overall activity for the day, which then helps keep my body fat at a certain amount. 